geologists discover that India is splitting into two. Findings hinted at the possibility that a section of the Indian plate might be undergoing delamination, with hot mantle rock filling the gap. The Himalayas, Earth's towering mountain range, stand as the product of a slow-motion geological collision between the Indian and Eurasian tectonic plates. This monumental clash has been shaping the region for about 60 million years, carving out the iconic peaks that define the landscape. Yet, the real fascination lies deep beneath the surface, where the tectonic forces at work remain enigmatic. Unlike dense oceanic plates, continental tectonic plates are thick and buoyant, resisting subduction into the Earth's mantle during collisions. This unique characteristic has led scientists to debate the Indian plate's behavior in its ongoing collision with Eurasia. One hypothesis suggests the plate resists subduction entirely, sliding horizontally beneath Tibet. Another posits that the upper, buoyant part of the Indian plate crumples at the collision's edge, enabling the lower portion to subduct into the mantle. In a recent development, a new analysis of earthquake waves traveling beneath Tibet in the presence of specific gases rising to the surface have shed light on a previously unexplored possibility. This theory suggests that a portion of the Indian plate is delaminating as it slides beneath the Eurasian plate, with the denser lower section peeling away from the upper portion. Furthermore, evidence points to a vertical fracture or tear at the boundary between the separated section of the slab and its undisturbed neighbor. Dawa van Hinsbergen, a geodynamicist at Utrecht University, remarked, we didn't know continents could behave this way, and that is, for solid earth science, pretty fundamental. This groundbreaking study, presented at the American Geophysical Union Conference and shared as a preprint online, has the potential to enhance our understanding of the formation of the Himalayas and may even contribute to assessing earthquake hazards in the region. However, Fabio Capitano, a geodynamicist at Monash University, urged caution, emphasizing the existence of uncertainties and limited data. It's just a snapshot, he noted. Nonetheless, Capitano acknowledged the importance of this research in advancing our comprehension of Earth's dynamic processes. The concept of tectonic plates unzipping has been a long-standing hypothesis among scientists. These plates consist of a layered structure with buoyant crust and denser upper mantle rock. When subjected to compression and thickening, a plate could potentially split along the interface between these layers. Previously, such phenomena were primarily studied in the interiors of thick continental plates and simulated in computer models. However, this study marks the first instance of such behavior being observed in a descending tectonic plate. The Himalayan collision zone provides a fertile ground for investigating the tearing apart of tectonic plates. Before the collision commenced, the Indian plate displayed variations in thickness and composition. This variation helps explain the crescent shape of the 2,500-kilometer-long Himalayan front. Peter DeSells, a geologist at the University of Arizona, likened the ancient plate to a manta ray, with thin wings of oceanic crust flanking a thick central portion of continental crust. While the thin oceanic slabs readily subducted beneath the Eurasian plate, the thick continental crust plowed into Eurasia with great force, creating the immense mountain range. The disparities in subduction speed likely subjected the Indian plate to multiple directional stresses, resulting in numerous tears. According to study author Simon Klemperer, a geophysicist at Stanford University, the idea of multiple tiers has become so prevalent in recent years that it has almost become a cottage industry among scientists. Klemperer focused his attention on a region in northeastern India, near Bhutan, where the subduction zone curved, making it a prime candidate for plate tiers. This region, as he described it, is where things get particularly turbulent. His research journey spanned several years and involved the collection of isotope measurements of helium from Tibetan springs. These springs provided crucial clues, as helium-3, a light isotope found in Earth's primordial composition, indicated the presence of mantle rocks. Conversely, a lack of helium-3 suggested the emergence of gases from buried crust. A striking pattern emerged as the team mapped the springs. South of a certain line, springs exhibited crustal signatures, while those to the north showcased mantle fingerprints. The researchers interpreted this line as the farthest point of the intact Indian plate sliding under Tibet before descending into the mantle. However, a trio of springs south of this line, near Bhutan's eastern border, also displayed mantle signatures. This hinted at the possibility that a section of the Indian plate might be undergoing delamination, with hot mantle rock filling the gap. Support for this hypothesis came from the analysis of earthquake waves traversing the boundary between crustal and mantle rock. By recording waves at numerous seismic stations, researchers were able to construct images of subsurface structures. 
One image revealed two distinct blobs, suggesting that the lower part of the Indian plate was detaching from the upper section. In a more recent analysis utilizing a different set of earthquake waves, evidence pointed to a tear on the western edge of the delaminated slab. West of this proposed break, the Indian plate's bottom remained intact at a depth of around 200 kilometers, while to the east, where the slab divided, mantle rock seemed to be flowing in at a depth of approximately 100 kilometers. And Meltzer, a seismologist at Lehigh University, emphasized the significance of understanding continental collisions, as nearly every landmass on Earth has been shaped by such events. This knowledge not only sheds light on our modern landscapes but also helps us assess earthquake hazards along ancient fault lines. Klemperer also suggested that the newly proposed tier may be influencing earthquake hazards in Tibet today. Overlying the tier is a deep fracture in the Tibetan plateau known as the Kona Sangri Rift, indicating a potential connection between the turmoil within the Indian plate and surface disturbances. While the direct link to earthquakes remains uncertain, Dawa van Hinsbergen noted that plate tiers and delamination could affect stress buildup and, consequently, the likelihood of earthquakes. Continental collisions have left a complex legacy of overlapping scars on our planet, making them a challenging subject of study. Nonetheless, scientists like Klemperer remain enthusiastic about the opportunity to decipher this billion-year-old history. With each discovery, we inch closer to understanding the intricate processes that have shaped our world. Recent geological research has uncovered an astonishing new theory regarding the behavior of the Indian Plate and its ongoing interaction with the Eurasian Plate. This discovery hints at the possibility that the Indian Plate is undergoing a process called delamination, in which a section of the plate, particularly the lower part, may be detaching and sinking into the Earth's mantle. As this part of the plate separates from the upper section, hot mantle rock fills the gap, offering crucial insights into the geological forces shaping the region. This groundbreaking discovery, presented at the American Geophysical Union Conference, pushes the boundaries of our understanding of tectonic activity. It could also provide vital information for assessing earthquake hazards and the formation of mountain ranges like the Himalayas. The Himalayan Collision, a monumental geological event the Himalayas, the tallest mountain range on Earth, are the result of a slow-motion collision between the Indian and Eurasian tectonic plates that has been ongoing for approximately 60 million years. As the Indian plate pushes northward, it compresses the Eurasian plate, causing massive geological upheaval. This collision has created the towering peaks of the Himalayas, as well as the Tibetan Plateau, which is the highest and most extensive plateau in the world. However, the real mystery lies beneath the surface, where the dynamics of the Indian Plate's movement have been long debated. Geologists have long grappled with questions regarding how the Indian Plate behaves during its collision with Eurasia. Does it resist subduction, as seen with oceanic plates, or does it undergo a more complex transformation? Two competing hypotheses on the Indian Plate's behavior over the years, two leading hypotheses have emerged. The first suggests that the Indian Plate resists subduction altogether and instead slides horizontally beneath Tibet. This hypothesis posits that, due to the buoyancy of the continental plate, it is unable to sink into the mantle, and instead, it creates horizontal displacement beneath the plateau. The second hypothesis proposes that the upper, more buoyant part of the Indian plate crumples and buckles at the collision's edge. This allows the denser lower portion to sink into the mantle, undergoing subduction. This process contributes to the tectonic forces that push the Himalayas upward and creates a complex interaction between the Earth's crust and mantle. Recent studies, however, have provided new evidence for a more intriguing possibility, the Indian plate could be delaminating, a process by which the lower portion of the plate breaks off and sinks into the mantle, leaving behind a gap that is filled with hot mantle rock. The discovery of delamination, a revolutionary theory this theory of delamination has gained traction in recent years, thanks to innovative research that analyzed seismic waves and the presence of specific gases rising to the surface in the region. The delamination hypothesis suggests that the Indian plate's lower section is separating from its upper portion, a phenomenon never before observed in the context of continental plates. The separation of these layers could be linked to vertical fractures or tears at the boundary between the two parts of the plate. Dawa van Hinsbergen, a geodynamicist at Utrecht University, emphasized the revolutionary nature of this discovery, stating that scientists were previously unaware that continents could behave in this way. The implications of this study are profound, as it challenges our fundamental understanding of how tectonic plates interact, particularly in regions of complex geological collisions. Key findings from the study This cutting-edge study, led by geophysicists like Dawa van Hinsbergen and Peter de Sels, used advanced seismic data to map the inner workings of the Indian plate beneath Tibet. 
they found distinct evidence for the delamination of the plate in the form of vertical tears and seismic anomalies. The team used helium isotope measurements taken from Tibetan hot springs to analyze the gases rising from beneath the Earth's surface. These measurements revealed a striking pattern that distinguished between crustal and mantle materials. South of a certain line, the springs exhibited crustal signatures, while those to the north showed mantle characteristics. This line marks the furthest point of the intact Indian plate sliding beneath Tibet. The springs that displayed mantle signatures suggested that delamination might be occurring in the region, with mantle rock filling the gap left by the detached lower section of the plate. Another critical piece of evidence came from the seismic waves recorded at various stations across the region. Researchers were able to construct detailed images of the subsurface, revealing two distinct blobs beneath the Indian plate, suggesting the presence of a detached lower portion of the plate. The most compelling evidence was found in northeastern India, near Bhutan, where the subduction zone curves, creating an ideal location for tectonic plate tiers. The seismic data indicated a fracture or tear on the western edge of the delaminated slab, with the Indian plate's bottom portion remaining intact at a depth of about 200 kilometers, while the detached material from the slab began flowing in from the east at a depth of approximately 100 kilometers. The importance of the Himalayan collision zone The collision zone between the Indian and Eurasian plates is a rich area for scientific exploration due to its complex tectonic dynamics. The Indian plate itself was not uniform in thickness and composition before the collision began. It displayed variations in thickness that helped explain the crescent shape of the 2,500-kilometer-long Himalayan front. The disparity in subduction rates, with oceanic slabs subducting more readily than the thicker continental crust, likely subjected the Indian plate to intense directional stresses, causing multiple fractures over time. The tearing of the plate is thought to have contributed to the creation of the Himalayan mountain range and the ongoing geological activity in the region. Peter DeSells, a geologist at the University of Arizona, compared the structure of the Indian plate before the collision to that of a manta ray. The thin wings of oceanic crust flanking the thick central portion of continental crust helped explain how different parts of the plate experienced varying stress and led to the formation of the mountains. Implications for earthquake hazards One of the significant concerns raised by this study is the potential connection between plate tiers and earthquake activity. The boundary between the two sections of the Indian plate, particularly in areas where delamination is occurring, could be generating significant stress. This stress might contribute to increased earthquake hazards, especially in regions such as the Tibetan Plateau, which is prone to seismic activity. Anne Meltzer, a seismologist at Lehigh University, emphasized that understanding these geological processes is essential for assessing earthquake risks. Continental collisions have shaped nearly every landmass on Earth, and they continue to influence the landscape and earthquake activity in places like Tibet. Dawa van Hinsbergen suggested that delamination and plate tiers might play a role in stress buildup leading to more frequent or intense earthquakes. While the direct link between these processes and earthquake occurrence remains uncertain, the study underscores the importance of monitoring the region for signs of increased seismic activity. The future of continental collision research This research represents a significant step forward in our understanding of the complex processes that shape our planet. Continental collisions, like the one between India and Eurasia, have left a complex legacy of overlapping scars that geologists continue to study. However, with the discovery of delamination and plate tiers, scientists are now able to gain deeper insights into the underlying mechanisms driving these tectonic events. The findings also open new avenues for understanding the Earth's dynamic processes and improving our ability to predict and assess earthquake hazards. As more data becomes available through seismic measurements and isotope analysis, scientists will continue to refine their models and theories, helping to improve our understanding of the planet's tectonic evolution. Conclusion Understanding Earth's changing surface The discovery of delamination within the Indian plate marks a significant breakthrough in tectonic science. By studying the deep geological processes beneath the surface, geologists are uncovering new insights into the forces that shape our planet. This research could play a crucial role in assessing earthquake risks, improving our understanding of mountain formation, and shaping future geological studies of continental collisions. As more data and research emerge, scientists will continue to refine our knowledge of Earth's tectonic systems, helping us better understand the past, present, and future of our planet's ever-changing surface.